Page 10, pinwheels. 3-4 time. It's got two sharps. We're in the key of D major. So the F's and the C's are all sharp. Lots of eighth notes. Let's take this one hand at a time here. Starting with the right hand, you're in this position, third finger. And it's one and two and. One and two and. And then on the third measure, your thumb comes under to do the G. It's just part of a D major scale. If you can do the D major scale, that's the fingering. So the th third measure, one and two and three and they come back down. Just crossing over. Second line, start with third and then cross the thumb under. And then just stay in this position and just keep crossing the thumb under each time you need this, or thumb over, I guess. thumb under the D, the fourth finger, here, and then we, we can use second finger on that last note in the second line because we're not going to keep going down, we're, we're going to stay here, so we're just coming here because in the next line you're up here. During the rest, then you come back down here, don't forget the C sharp, and then during the rest, come down again. Last line, rest, come down again, and then stay here. You're moving around a little bit. Left hand, you're in this position, you're here. And then cross over in the third major, third finger on C sharp. And thumb again on B. Second line, you have a rest, you come up. Second line. And then cross over third finger. Third line, now your treble clef up here. Cross over. Come down. They say thumb. If you don't want to do the thumb there, then go ahead and do the cross over again with second finger. Either way, and depending on how big your hands are, if the fingering in the book works, use that. Then the last line, you're here, and during the rest, move down, and then I suggest you go ahead and move down on the third major of the last line, put your thumb on the A. This way you're in position for the rest of the piece. You don't have to, but that's what I'm suggesting. Then try the hands together. It's a little tricky because you're not playing an octaves. You have an A here, and you're using different fingers in the hands. And you're crossing the thumb at different times. So you, I recommend you take this one line at a time and just stick with that line until you can get it slowly and evenly. Then the second line, you're coming up here. measure the second line one and two and three and and then uh, here the left hand needs to come up here you're between phrases here you can lift up here and during the rest come down and then come down again during the rest again the right hand can stay there, just move the left hand down. It's weird. So, yeah, just take it like a line at a time until you can get the eighth notes even and smooth and the thumb crossing and all that worked out. You can go as slow as you need to go, there's no hurry in that. Articulation wise, you just got the slurs. You lift up between each slur, uh, it helps sometimes because you have rest between them, you have to lift up. But at the end of the second line, just lift up there because it's, it's like taking a breath and going on, big deal. Dynamic wise, this is kind of both hands, it's like a duet. The pin wheels, I guess each hand has a pin wheel. So you're starting out moderately soft and you're going to go a little louder to moderately loud. There's not a lot of difference between them and you have to plan it out. 
because you don't want to be moderately loud until you get to that quarter note in the third measure here. That's where you're moderately loud. So you're starting out moderately soft here. I suggest you play the whole first measure moderately soft. And then come up just a hair, not much. And then, then toward the end, it's like the last four eighth notes you play before the quarter note. Then you start really getting loud. So at the beginning you're here. There, and then you come back down. And then in the second line, you're going to go all the way up to loud, but don't get there until the last measure. So you have to plan it out. Again, you're moderately soft. You come up just a little bit, not much. Now you up to moderately loud. There you're loud. So really most of your crescendo is in that third measure, going up. That's what... Then come back down to moderately soft. Third line, start moderately soft and go up to moderately loud. Careful. Moderately soft again. And then the last line, you're starting moderately soft. Moderately loud. Moderately soft. So you're getting a little louder and softer and you have to get comfortable enough with a piece that you're not thinking too much about notes and fingering because the fingering is a little tricky. Then you start feeling these crescendos and, and decrescendos or diminuendos. A speed wise, smoothly and brightly. It's not a speed. I guess the point is you have to take it at your speed. They give you suggestions, but those are only suggestions, those metronome markings. You have to take it slowly, and as you get more comfortable with it, you can gradually speed it up. Spinning wheels, like or pinwheels, you'll tend to spin pretty good. So, you, But you have to be accurate, and the eighth notes all have to be even. And it's, it's just... So, but I, I, however fast you want to go is fine, but eighth notes are even. I'd like to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics, but we're going to go really slow. If you need to, just one hand at a time until you can get all the hesitations worked out. So I'll give us three counts and let's try it together. One and ready and go and. and and two and three and 